Experience from our HIV projects, especially in Sub-Saharan Africa, has shown us that patients who present with advanced HIV have a high mortality. And these are patients ordinarily who have CD4s less than 200. And learning from this, we have seen that a minimal screening package can help to reduce mortality and morbidity within this very crucial and quite significant proportion of patients. So our screening package that we have implemented and are continuing to roll out starts with the screening assessing the CD4 level. If the CD4 of the patient is less than 200, it then triggers two very important tests thereafter, the TB lamp and the crack and I will show you now how to do those rapid tests. The first test we have is a CD4 testing um, device. Usually, ordinarily we're using PIMA and uh, to implement PIMA you need a minimum of 5,000 to buy the platform and to ensure that there's good service and maintenance and the other slightly disadvantage is that it does two to three tests per hour. Though it's working efficient, we are looking to forward to systems that can be easily scaled up. Hence, we've been working with the Omega and Bennett company that has developed a, 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 a semi-quantitative uh, lateral flow assay for CD4 checking. So we have a prototype at 200 threshold. This one is 300, but we've been pushing for the 200 threshold such that when you put the patient some blood sample here it will migrate through, through here just like any other rapid test but if the cd4 of the patient is less than 200 at the t level here the line that will develop on the t will be fainter than the reference and that point you will know that the cd4 is less than 200 and then you will progress to do other tests that are then triggered by the uh, low cd4 of the patient our patient suspected of having advanced HIV has already been screened. The CD4 of the patient is less than 200. So we progress to the next test is the rapid uh, TB LAM antigen testing. This test detects the cell wall of the mycobacterium from the urine of the patient. It's very it's sensitive enough among patients with advanced HIV who have CD4s that are less than 200 and is recommended ordinarily by WHO for patients with CD4 less than 100. So here is my urine sample from a patient. All I need to do, like any other rapid test, I op peel open the rapid test. Here is my pipette already calibrated. It comes with the test. I take just a drop of the sample and I put it on the pad. Right, and I wait for 25 minutes to get my results. Now we've done our TB lamb test in urine, we'll move over to do the other test concurrently called the crack. The crack is also a simple test to do that detects the cryptococcal cell wall in the blood or in CSF samples. So this test is also very, very easy to do. You collect the patient's blood in an EDTA tube and you can ordinarily use the plasma, the liquid part of the blood after the cell sediment. So the kit comes with test strips. They, they are very easy to uh, use. And it also comes with a positive and negative control together with a diluent. So to do the test, all you need to do is to get a drop of the diluent. You put a drop of the diluent into your reaction tube. Once you put that, you also add a drop of the patient's plasma into the reaction tube. And after you mix that, you then put the crack uh, test strip in there and you let it incubate for 10 minutes. We coming back after 20 minutes of incubation, we can look at our results. The first one is the TB lamb result. As we can see, the TB lamb result is negative. Ordinarily, if it were positive, you would read the result assessing by the reference card the intensity of the positivity. It's either it's 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus, 4 plus. And if it's negative like this, it does not rule out TB. And you still probably have to do either gene expect or chest x ray. But obviously, the clinicians will advise on what further test to do. This test ordinarily is an opt-in test to assess who could be harboring the TB um, bacteria. Moving on to the crack test. The crack test, here is our result. It's got two lines. As such, we know two lines will mean positive. So the patient has cryptococcal antigen in their blood. And this patient will require aggressive 
management. So ordinarily, we are also looking at uh, working with the company that make the crack to say, can they make a semi-quantitative crack that can tell us when the teeter is at one is to 160 above or below, because one of the two will either trigger preventive treatment or curative treatment. So overall, this is our dream of um, advanced uh, patient management. And at the moment, the TB-LAM costs $3, the crack costs $3.50, and the PIMA is about $8 to $9 per test. But we want this to come ordinarily into to three dollars in this and then overall you will have a package that should cost less than ten dollars so the package it saves lives it's easy to implement it can be done by non-lab trained people and to assure quality in terms of testing this one comes with a positive control and a negative control it can be done weekly this one also comes it's got an internal positive uh, internal line to assess the accuracy of testing in a way and also the manufacturer provides controls and same with this one it has lines to assess if the test is valid or not valid but with time we will definitely have uh, controls to monitor the testing thank you